Hello, fellow YouTube fans. So, if you haven't been paying attention, I have new videos. They usually have to regard with directing. If I am not paid properly in the next few weeks, I might create a whole different YouTube channel and keep doing my music. And yeah, just keep doing my music on my one channel and then have a different channel where I have maybe directing. I don't know, we'll see. From what I've read though, it seems the only way you really get money on YouTube is if you have good videos and you keep posting each week or each day. It seems if you do daily videos, it's handier than if you don't do daily videos. Fortunately, I can't do the Suicide Squad novel for a bit because of the fact that I've been challenged for two weeks to not have any Joker. Batman or figurine posts. Figurine posts you don't really understand because I just photo my Facebook Toy Stories group, which probably none of you have shown interest in. Anyway, so today we're doing directing again, but instead of talking about directing in my idea of directing, I'm going to talk to you about directing in a show. A show you all probably know. Breaking Bad. Now, there have been a few debates slash complaints, possibly on Reddit and on other websites, about some of the storylines of Breaking Bad and how they sort of fall apart. One of the biggest ones is Brian Cranston when he has the gun pointed to Jesse in the finale of season four doesn't actually know that Walt poisoned Brock. So when Brian Cranston is pleading for his life, it's as if Brian Cranston is pleading for his life and not Walter White. So basically, Brian Cranston is thinking like Walter White and trying to convince Jesse that he didn't poison Brock. But he did! But Brian Cranston at the time didn't know that he had actually poisoned Brock. And this is... According to one website that I read that I won't post because I don't remember, but the point is, is that one guy, actually I probably can't find it, one of the biggest, he was giving you all the faults of Breaking Bad, and one of the biggest ones was that Brian Cranston did not know that Brock had already been poisoned by Walter White. And so Walter White, in that scene, is confessing as if he didn't poison Brock, but he did. But what Jesse yells at him, which I think was scripted for Aaron Paul, is that he explains exactly, specifically, how it happened. And how Huel lifted the cigarette from his, from his pack of cigarettes. And actually, you know what? Let's see if we can find that scene. Fortunately, YouTube might yell at me, but I don't really give a shit. So let's get that scene. Is it season four? I don't think it's in season four. I think it's an end times. Okay, so lie down. I'm sorry, you can't be too careful these days. Come on. Yeah, this is it. Come on. Lock the door for a second. Okay, so let's just get this one part. This one part. What's happening? <laughs> I switched the cigarette into a new pack. There we go. And only you and I were the only two people on Earth who knew about it. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe he went into your pockets. No! I had it. I had the cigarette with the rice in, in my pack okay. this morning. Just in case you don't understand last... who he is, I think it's Gus. Because Brian Grant is trying no to argue with I have no idea who the, these people are. The Gus no, point. Please. Here. Okay, that's Brock. And, and he was he was poisoned. The ricin! He's dying because What's amazing about this to... scene is this is Brian Cranston's like actual look of shock. Like he has no idea that he actually poisoned him. And so the problem is, is then you have to say that he's acting over top of acting because he's playing Brian Cranston sorry. He's playing Walter White, who doesn't know that 
he actually poisoned Brock, but he actually did. So it's like three layers of characters he's playing. Because it's like, Brian Cranston has to pretend, Brian Cranston is playing Walter White, who he thinks is unsure. I mean, not sh- unsure. He was positive that he didn't poison Brock, but he's actually doing a whole new layer because Walter White knows he poisoned Brock and it's making Jesse believe that he didn't poison Brock. It's brilliant acting, but ironically, Brian Cranston didn't know that he was actually... that Jesse was telling the truth, basically. And only you and I were the only two people on Earth who knew about it. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe he went into your pockets. No! I had it. I had this. Okay, so he is Brock in, in this sense. Cigarette with the rice in, in my back this morning. The last time I saw Brock was last night. And this morning, I switched the cigarette into a new pack. There's no way Brock took it himself. Jesse, you're not thinking clearly. Listen, you, you said it yourself that you had it this morning. Then when could I have possibly gotten it? You, you had Saul do it. Yeah. Yeah. I went to his office. He called me and just had to see me today. His big man, mountain bodyguard, patted me down. That's when he must have sold off of me, right? That's the plan. Was that the plan? So the argument here is that, yes, Jesse, that was the plan. The problem, though, is this. If you watch this clip, which I don't need to play because you could find, and I'll, I'll link you with the clip anyway. It's impossible in the scene that Huel, who I should give you the actor's name just so you know. Uh, La- Lavelle Maurice Crawford. It's impossible in this scene that he took the box of cigarettes and A, replace the pack of cigarettes. Let's rewind to what he actually, what Jesse says. So, that you had it this morning, then when could I have... Also, remember that Jesse says he had it in his pack? So he never says that he put it in his pocket, which is interesting. But there's no way that Saul took it from his pack or backpack because Jesse didn't have a pack when he was searched. Possibly gotten it. You had Saul do it. Yeah. Yeah. I went to his office. He called me and just had to see me today. His big man mountain bodyguard patted me down. That's when he must have sold off of me, right? That's the point. So Jesse thinks that Huel took the box of cigarettes and took the cigarette out of the pack. Now, when you watch this scene you'll know that that is completely impossible because of the fact that Huel has two hands and he's searching Jesse's pockets. Now Jesse is trying to first get him off, but Huel is a big guy, so he doesn't need to really fight Jesse. Sorry, he needs to, well, he doesn't really, yeah, he doesn't really need to fight Jesse. Anyway, so this is how the scene works. Huel, in the end... Because Jesse is complaining about him being searched like this. You see his pocket. You see his hand. You don't really know what he's holding. And he pockets what we're going to argue is the box of cigarettes. But the problem here is that there is no way he could have switched the pack, which is what YouTubers have been arguing. There's no way. He has one free hand. Actually, he has two free hands. And soon he has one hand, which he pockets the cigarettes. There's the only thing that Huel could have done is take the box of cigarettes. It's very unclear to see exactly if he's even holding a pack of cigarettes. I've been trying to pause it for a while, and it's extremely difficult to figure out if he actually pocketed the cigarettes. But the only argument you can say is that he did. Because we're supposed to believe that Jesse's testimony is is basically right. But in order for 
Jesse to get another pack of cigarettes, that would have to be a whole different scene entirely. Because this this scene, which I will do, because why not, takes 30 seconds. I'll even count it down for you. Yeah, I think it's 30 seconds. So, here we go. So, Jesse hears Saul. Okay, here we go. So, Kiel stops him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And this is where he's pocketed the cigarettes. Okay, so that, 20 seconds. Anyway, I might be inaccurate about that. Anyway, the point is, it takes him... Oh, fuck. No, anyway. It takes him many seconds to do it. And it's... If you see, if you watch the scene, he's got one hand and another hand. And in the end, he has one hand that he puts the cigarettes into his pocket. But he always had that free hand. He never had another hand. From what I've seen, the only accurate thing that would make sense if he's going to switch the box there is that when he switch when he switches the box, he takes the other box. So it's like if if Jesse has the cigarettes in his right pocket, like the cigarette with the rice in, he takes that pack of cigarettes and replaces it with another box of cigarettes, but in his left pocket rather than his right. But from the scene. You can't argue that that happens. Sorry, but careful. it seems that Saul Goodman at this point doesn't know that Walt has arranged this in advance, which we don't see on camera. So it's kind of unlikely to say come on, come on. that Black Saul took Jesse's, or sorry, Saul well, replaced the pack of cigarettes. It's possible he did, but. Entire family, I should. Where is there a scene where he pockets the cigarettes? Yeah. Where he gets Jesse. Like, where where would he have put it? Yeah, I don't know about that. I, all I know is. Like, the, he, the only really interaction he has, physical interaction he has, is he. Take a break, HT, let's go. You're going to stop he, calling me that, or I'm going to hang you by your tie. He pats his back. I'm sorry, these videos don't actually, there aren't actually videos, it's just audio. Lock the door for a Yeah, just patch the back. Or touch the back. Yeah. Take a break, HT, let's go. You're going to stop calling me that or I'm going to hang you by your tie. Yeah, yeah, stop showing off for the client. Honey tits, I say it's endearing. So, what's so important? Well, they're here. The end times, kid. EA just happened to like raid us talking about it. forget it I mean, he, he exaggerates right he does that hey listen do me a favor would, would you put in a good word for me with Frank I mean just for old time's sake there's no time I can't that Saul could have replaced the cigarettes yeah he walks out and that's it and then the next scene is Jesse trying to light the cigarettes? Now, where does he get the cigarettes? I wonder. What's wrong with him? Or does he even? Hey. Okay, so which pocket does he get? That's curious, eh? see him take the box of cigarettes out of his pocket. That's interesting. It's interesting because I think they blurred this on purpose. But it seems it's in his right pocket. So, let's look at Huel again. 
Probably the way Which pocket does Huel take the cigarettes from? On drop, leave it. Okay, so, okay so that was his right. Hey, goodman! That was his left hand. Here. Hey, yo, get your tool off me. On drop, leave it. So lie Actually, down. Actually, he might have oh, taken it from Jesse's right pocket. It's not very clear, but it seems it seems so. I'll put it so. Huel put it into his left pocket, but took it from Jesse's right. So when Jesse has a new pack of cigarettes, that's the gap. Where did Jesse get the next box of cigarettes? Who would have given him the extra box? From what we've observed, or what I've observed, and you can observe it in the videos that I'll link, there's no time where unless Walt had a new person just randomly bump into Jesse, and this is of course off camera, there was no time where Jesse gets a new box of cigarettes. And, as you will see if you watch this scene, by the way, this is episode four. This is episode four. Season four, episode twelve, end times from Breaking Bad. When he discovers the box of cigarettes, what's interesting is he notices. Actually, it does. But then again, he smokes a lot, so he can't figure out what cigarette um, it would be in. Of course, if you're a real diehard fan and you really pay attention to this show like I do, he flipped the cigarette over so he knew which one he would not take. So the one that's facing upwards rather than below, like all the other cigarettes, um, he wouldn't... Is, is, is the cigarette and none of those cigarettes are facing upwards so you already know something's off there but Jesse just thinks he accidentally flipped it and so he's trying to unravel all of the cigarettes and finds out that none of the cigarettes have the ricin in them what Walt does to the cigarette is very clever and anyway I don't need, he actually puts it in the um, in, in the machine that apparently is like the best vacuum cleaner you've ever met in your life <laughs> because he just, just cleans up like his entire uh, room or I guess guest area family room area. anyway the point is from what we know and what we've seen there is no scene where Jesse could have had the cigarettes replaced yes the box of cigarettes could have been lifted from Jesse. That is completely possible from what we've seen. But it doesn't seem from what Huel's doing with his search that he ever replaces the box of cigarettes. Which is what the argument is. And then the other argument is, is but with one cigarette missing. But if you think logically about that, given what Huel's doing and how quickly he's doing it, you have to either think that he would do, it would be really smart and flip one of the cigarettes over to make it look like there's actually another one, which you don't see, because there's, I mean, it's possible Jesse smoked the possible cigarette, but, I mean, he didn't obviously smoke it, but he could have thought he did. So there's a lot of, like, you know, brain activity going on here, like, who's wrong, who's right, and who's confusing the other, and, like, you could argue that Jesse's just confused, and yeah, maybe he did get another pack of cigarettes, but he didn't. Watch Huel's hands. You don't ever see Huel with a pack of cigarettes in one hand and then another pack of cigarettes in another. You barely see the pack of cigarettes that he's holding in his pocket. Like, it's very unclear. And there is no way he took the pack of cigarettes, got a cigarette out, not with the way he was searching. And there's no way that would work. It took, like, what, 20 seconds? There's no way that's possible. So then you have to argue, who gave Jesse the extra box of cigarettes? 
And if you were going to get the, the new box, the replacement box of cigarettes. And again, like if you were going to be really smart, you would have that cigarette flipped. But the only way you would know that is if you already had that box of cigarettes. And we see that none of those cigarettes were flipped. Again, yes, it's possible Jesse took the flipped cigarette that actually didn't have the ricin, but supposed to look like it has the ricin, and he smoked it. It's possible. We don't need to care about how many cigarettes Jesse smokes in an episode or how many cigarettes he smokes in that episode. That's not important. He does talk about how he switched the one rice and cigarette into a new pack. So yeah, he was going to get a new pack, which is kind of foreshadowing of him getting a new pack. But how did he get that new pack? Huel did not lift a cigarette out of Jesse's pocket. He lifted a box of cigarettes. So where did the new box of cigarettes come from? That is the problem with this scene. And I love this show, but I'm telling you right now, there was no way in the editing of this clip that Hugh replaced the pack of cigarettes. He definitely took his box of cigarettes, but he didn't replace it. And the problem with editing, because this isn't really a directing problem, this is an editing problem, is... You can explain anything and make it important. I mean, apparently, The Dark Knight Rises has a lot of plot holes. Yeah, I know. Well, my aunt's probably not going to watch this video, so I don't think she's going to gonna lose my $10. But anyway, the point is, you don't see that. Sorry. Uh, yeah, and The Dark Knight Rises apparently has plot holes, but... <sighs> A real fanatic will argue everything like oh well because Batman does this but yes there are technically plot holes in the Dark Knight Rises Bane gets shot in the face from what we see with Catwoman I'm not analyzing this because that's not the point of this video but we don't really know I mean it seems Bane's out of the game but I mean how did he get shot in the face I mean we do know that Bruce Wayne Batman figures out that Bane's trigger point is his mask. You have to un, like, I don't know, remove the nozzles from his mask, and that's how he dies. And he already punched one of them out. But then it, Talia fixes it. So, where did Catwoman shoot Bane? Anyway, yes, okay, it might have plot holes. I don't think the plane heist has any plot holes. The point is, is there's a lot of people me included, that if you really love something, you try to argue how what everyone thinks is impossible is actually possible. But from what I've seen, and I'm telling you, I've been looking at this episode like very fine-tunedly, I can't see, unless it was off-screen, where Jesse would have gotten a new pack of cigarettes. Now, what Vince Gilligan did explain about how Brock could have taken the ricin is apparently the juice box experiment. Which is that he crushed some of the lily of the valley and put it in a juice box and went to Brock's school. We don't see any of this. What's amazing about film work and storyline is it's like... You don't need to know the Joker's identity. But what's interesting is Heath Ledger's Joker still has sort of an origin story, which he's constantly remaking, which is very clear with the Mark Hamill's Joker, because he's always making up new ways of how he became the Joker, or his fake stories of his family, which Harley completely falls for. But the point is, is that You can make up anything that wasn't on screen, but when you look at what you have on screen, that's what you can only work with. You can't work with what's off screen. Now, according to how the writers figured it out, it's completely possible that Walt poisoned Brock with the time span that we're given until the point where Brock gets poisoned. But we don't know how he did it. 
but it is seen that it seems that she will take something from Jesse. We assume that it's a box of cigarettes because that's the only plausible thing. But how does he get the new box of cigarettes? We actually never know. And yeah, Walt could have bumped into him at a random point. But like, look at this. I know I'm probably going over this too off, too long, but like, what what scene? Walt never meets Jesse until Jesse's back home, and why would Walt see Jesse before then? It doesn't make sense. And Andrea, like Andrea, didn't give him an extra box of box of cigarettes because she's not in part of the plan. So who gave Jesse a box of cigarettes? The nurse? I'm not going to analyze this anymore, but the point is. Is that I'm sorry, Breaking Bad, but you've made an editing error, or actually a storyline error. Where did Jesse get the new box of cigarettes? That's what I'm going to leave you with.